I'm Fraser Kane, the publisher of Universe Today. Have you heard there's a giant planet in the solar system headed straight towards Earth? At some point in the next few months or years, this thing is going to crash into Earth or flip our poles or push us out of our orbit or some other horrible civilization destroying disaster. Are these rumors true? Is there a planet X on a collision course with Earth? This isn't one of those situations where it's yes and no, or maybe, well, it depends. It's a straight answer. No. Any large object moving towards the inner solar system would be one of the brightest objects in the night sky. It would mess up the orbits of the other planets and asteroids that astronomers carefully observe every night. There are millions of amateur astronomers taking high quality images of the night sky. If something was out there, they'd see it. These rumors have been popping up on the internet for more than a decade now, and I'm sure we'll still be debunking them decades from now. What people are calling Planet X, or Nibiru, or Wormwood, or whatever, doesn't exist. But is it possible that there are large undiscovered objects out in the furthest reaches of the solar system? Sure. Astronomers have been searching for Planet X for more than 100 years. In the 1840s, the French mathematician Urbain Le Verrier calculated that another large planet must be perturbing the orbit of Uranus. He predicted the location where this planet would be, and then German astronomer Johann Gottfried Gall used these coordinates to discover Neptune right where Le Verrier predicted. The famed astronomer Percival Lowell died searching for the next planet in the solar system, but he made a few calculations about where it might be found. And in 1930, Clyde William Tombaugh successfully discovered Pluto in one of the locations predicted by Lowell. Astronomers continued searching for additional large objects, but it wasn't until 2005 that another object the size of Pluto was finally discovered by Mike Brown and his team from Caltech, Eris. Brown and his team also turned up several other icy objects in the Kuiper Belt, many of which have been designated dwarf planets. We haven't discovered any other large objects yet, but there might be clues that they're out there. In 2012, the Brazilian astronomer Rodney Gomes calculated the orbits of objects in the Kuiper Belt and found irregularities in the orbits of six objects. This, dis this suggests that a larger object is further out, tugging at their orbits. It could be a Mars-sized object, 8.5 billion kilometers away, or a Neptune-sized object, 225 billion kilometers away. And there's another region at the edge of the solar system called the Oort Cloud. This is the source of the long period comets that occasionally visit the inner solar system. It's possible that large planets are perturbing the orbits of comets with their gravity nudging these comets in our direction. So feel free to ignore every single scary video and website that says an encounter with Planet X is coming. And use that time you save from worrying and use it to appreciate the amazing discoveries being made in space and astronomy every day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Now make sure you click subscribe on our YouTube channel over here. And maybe you've still got some questions about space and astronomy, like this one or that one. And if you don't see the question you're looking for, then send me an email at info at universetoday.com or flip our poles, or push her out of our orbit, or some other, what?